is the Metal Wilson of Metal Wilson Tarot. It is Monday, October the 11th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Gemini? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and your people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Take what does and leave the rest. There's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Gemini. Spirit. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands, this is new passionate communication. Wands are fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Eight of Wands talks about new, rapid, passionate communication. This could be text messages, messages on social media, messages on dating sites. Also, you could be at a distance from the person that you're interested in. What is crossing this? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles can talk about um, holding on to someone with your heart chakra. It can also talk about um, watching your money, saving more than you spend. Um, taking care of your finances. Consciously known, the fool, Aries energy. I love the fool. He's got his little bag pack, got a guitar. There's a butterfly, you know, a new journey. This is a new journey taking a leap of faith. I love, I love the fool. Unconscious, new money, Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aces are all about new. I like the grasshopper on the head. This is a new job, a raise, a promotion, money from a side project. New money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Recent past. The devil. Capricorn Energy. Uh, this is toxic behavior. This can, can be self-imposed bondage. Lying, cheating, stealing, addictions, drug, alcohol, sex. The devil. Toxic energy, but it is in your past. Near future, two of wands. Ooh. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Two of wands talks about making a choice. There's a fork in the road. You need to choose a direction. This often has a globe in this card, which means you might have to travel for work or to see somebody that you are interested in. Just like Eight of Wands could be, you are at a distance from the person you are interested in. Two of Wands, you may be at a, dis a distance from the person you are interested in. Where do you find yourself? Two of Swords, Two of Swords, Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Swords is about being indecisive. There's a decision that has to be made and you're having trouble making it, but the decision has to be made. This can talk about cutting someone or something out of your life. External influences, the King of Pentacles, King of Money. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Pen Money. See, he's got his chest. This person is grounded, balanced, stable. A business person makes their own money, takes care of their money. You did have new money over here. Hopes and or fears. Four of Wands, my party card. 
Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Four of Wands talks about a um, maybe a rehearsal, a dress, a rehearsal for a wedding, uh, rehearsal for a hand fasting, and the increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. Four of Wands. Overall outcome. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aces are all about new, this is new, honest, clear communication. Mod on the deck, ooh, Soulmates, Two of Cups, Cups are Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Two of Cups, they got hearts for eyes, upside down help for nose. The water from his cup is literally spilling into her cup. I love this imagery. I love it. It's like my favorite two of cups I've seen. Um, their bright red hearts are showing through their rib cages. Soulmates, true love, divine counterparts. Ten of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of Wands. This is the end of a burdensome cycle. I can't say that word for some reason. And you have been carrying a uh, burden for way, way too long now. It is time to drop that burden and move on to a passionate new beginning. The Moon. This is Pisces energy. The Moon. This talks about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn. And the truth coming to the surface. Possibly you found something about this devil person here. But they are in your past. Maybe that's one of the burdens you had to lay down. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. This is a victory card. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See, it's like they're in a parade. People on the sidewalks, on either side, they're calling your name, they're clapping. The victory card. Oh, and we have the Queen of Love. Queen of Love. Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. The Queen of Love. She's loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good partner, a good parent, and the Queen of Love. See her hearts for eyes, upside down heart for nose, and her... Big heart, red, red and silver brooch that she has on her. So we had new passionate communication, a brand new journey, new money, fork in the road, a decision that has to be made, the king of money, increase in level of commitment in a relationship. New honest, clear communication, soulmates, end of a burdensome cycle, victory card, and the queen of love. And we had this toxic behavior, watching your money, choosing a path, needing to make a decision about something. End of a burdensome cycle. Secrets, lies, deceptions. Love cards. Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. It's devil energy right there. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. I don't think you should let anybody in. Especially when you got your soulmate. Soulmate here. Bottom of the deck. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. We got soulmate energy. Increase in level of commitment. New money. New clear honest communication. A new brand new cycle. King of money, queen of love. Um, I wouldn't, I would just release your ex. I wouldn't entertain the idea of reconciliation. 
and just let go of control issues and go with the flow. All right, Gemini, have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.